Hello everyone! Welcome to Flavors on My Roots. Today I'll be making dairy-free mango mousse. I got these beautiful mangoes for my backyard. So you need about three and a half cups to four cups of mangoes. I'm gonna put them aside. Now I'm going to hydrate the gelatin. I need two little package, okay? So let me add this here in this little bowl. I'm going to add one quarter cup of water gonna mix this okay I'm gonna leave this here for about um, about 10 minutes and now let's cut the mangoes so first you go to one of one one side of the mango you do this that's usually how I do it when I'm in a in a hurry okay so you get a cup usually cut a little bit of the sides first so to fit get the cup you go just like this. So, you know, this way you're not wasting a lot of mango, you know. Okay, see this? And with the sides, you just like, you know, cut them like this. Even if I, you can even make this mousse with the skin if you want, but I chose not to make with the skin. I'm gonna save the skin to make something else. Now let's chop the mangoes. You see they're very ripe. It's great for, to make this mousse. Okay, so I'm gonna put the gelatin in the microwave for about 15 seconds. I'm going to blend the mangoes, the, gelatin and one third of a cup of maple syrup or you can use honey agave okay and now let's blend this now I'm going to add um, four tablespoons of concentrated coconut milk perfect let's blend this for like two more minutes it's done blending, so I'm gonna leave this aside because I'm going to make the crust. Let's make the crust. Um, here I have a gluten-free graham cracker, but you can use anything you want. You can use um, Maria cookies. Uh, you can use regular um, graham cracker. So, so it's eight ounces. I break them in half, be easier. Now I'm going to add half a cup of pistachio. Let's blend this for about a minute. Okay, let's see. Perfect. I'm going to add this into this bowl. So since this is dairy free, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil instead of adding butter. First, I'm going to start by adding uh, one teaspoon of coconut oil. Okay, so what I'm trying to achieve here, I want this to hold together, you know, like when I'm working with butter, since this is like a dairy-free um, dessert, I'm adding coconut oil instead. It's a little hard, you know, to hold it together. That's what I want to accomplish, you know, when you press it and you know, a little, uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of coconut oil. This is, this is good. Let's do it. So this is where I'm gonna add the crust, the pistachio and the um, graham cracker um, crust. So let's do it. So let's do this. Press it down with your hand. Let's pour the mango mixture into the crust okay let's do this let's smooth it out with a spoon and let's leave this in the refrigerator for about four hours or you can also leave it overnight as well i left the mousse overnight in the uh, refrigerator so let's take it out okay so let's uh, remove the mousse out of the pan with a butter knife 
first let's go around it and let's see let's see what's gonna happen What do you think? Not bad, right? And now let's decorate, okay? You can decorate with mango or with whatever fruit you wish. Um, earlier, I tried to make um, mango roses, but since this mango has no fiber whatsoever, it's very hard to roll. Okay, so I'm going to decorate with some strawberries um, and uh, blueberries and some mangoes. First, let's add the blueberries. And look at this, what do you think? Isn't that beautiful? And now it's time to try Whoa. I feel like this is such a big piece. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so delicious. The crust with the um the pistachio you have no idea it's incredible oh wow i'm so happy with the results cheers